Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Kaomi and today I will show you how to make a flower bouquet using Korean radish and squash flowers with leek and celery garnish on a beautiful butternut squash vase. For the ingredients, you will need celery, leek, scallions, butternut squash, and Korean radish. For the tools, you will need mixing bowl, small bowls to put the food coloring, toothpick, big knife, pliers, small knife, V and U shape carving tools, a paper towel underliner, a plastic knife to mix the food coloring, and brush to paint the coloring. You will also need bamboo skewers. First, cut the top and the bottom of the butternut squash. Set them aside for later. Carve a line around the edge of the butternut squash. Do this on the other side as well. Then, carve two more lines around the middle about one inch away from each other. With a small knife, peel the skin of the bottom section. Carve V or W shapes above the line you carve like this. Then, peel a thin layer of the skin outside the pattern like this with the small carving knife. Do another layer of V or W shapes but start on the tips of the last layer. Try your best to keep the petals the same size as the last layer. Again, carve a thin layer of the skin underneath the V or W shapes. Do as many layers as you can. I did three. Next, peel the skin of the top section. Use a thin V-shaped carving tool to carve vertical line around that section, about an inch away from each other. Then use the small knife to deepen the lines. The deepness of the lines will give more contrast. Then, take the thin V-shaped carving tools and carve three lines around the center of the base. Then, take a small knife and carve triangular line around the top of the base like this. Get the big bowl and fill it with cold water. Now, take the leek and the small knife and cut 3 inches of the tip of the leek, almost all of the white part. Then hold it like this and carve line from the middle of the leek to the end. Spread the petals out and put it in the bowl of water so that the petals will curl. Grab the rest of the leek and carve line about 3 port of the length of the leek. We will put this in the center of the bouquet. 
soak it in the water with the leek flour. Grab the celery and chop off some pieces in varying lengths. This will go on the center with the leek. Now, get the ends of the butternut squash and carve a circle around the center. You can also use a cookie cutter for this. Then, carve out the fruit around it. Take the half moon shape carving tools and carve petals around the center. Then, take a small carving knife and carve out pieces around the petal shape like this. I will carve out the center of the petals so that they are separated from each other. Now, let's do a second layer, carving in between the first layer of petals. Push the U-shaped carving tools all the way through the flower so that it's easier to snap out the edge. The middle is too soft, so I just mark lines in the center. If it is hard like this one, then use a thin V-shaped carving tool or a small knife to mark thicker lines. Take the Korean radish and cut it up into 2 inch thick slices. We will repeat the same process. Carve a circle around the center. Use the U-shaped carving tools to make petals. Carve out pieces around the petals shaped like this. Carve in between the petals to separate them. Do a second layer, pushing the U-shaped carving tool all the way through the radish slice to snap out the edge easier. Now, carve crisscross line on the center. For a more complete look, smooth out the back. It's assembly time. Use a small knife to hollow out the center to make room for the celery and leek. Then, let's color the flowers. If you don't have brown, you can mix red and green for the middle of the flower. And yellow for the petals. Use different brushes for each color so that they will not mix. I usually color the middle first. Paint little by little because the color might blend into the petals. I use gel food color because it's thicker. Make sure to paint everything so that no white part is visible. I suggest to paint even the back of the flower so that the flower is yellow on all angles. For the butternut squash flowers, you don't need to paint the petals, just the center. Now, let's put everything together. 
Put the celery and leeks together and stick them in the middle of the butternut squash base. Get bamboo skewers and stick them around the base to secure the celery and leek in place. Use pliers to cut the bamboo skewers. Cut pieces of scallion around 3 to 4 inches long. Stick a piece through a bamboo skewer, then stick a flower on top. Stick it anywhere in the base. If some bamboo skewers are peeking out, cut them with pliers. For the leek flower, I put it in the side of the leek because their colors are contrasting. Try arranging them in different lengths and angles for variety. Our sunflowers bouquet is complete. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to see more videos like this. If you want to learn more fruit carving, you can buy my book on Amazon. The link is in the description. See you next time. Bye-bye.